So already, I've been thinking on what we should uh, grind, and we're actually going to take off the blade for the lawnmower, and we're going to sharpen that. So I think this will do the trick. So we're going to use that. Whip this out. Hopefully I got something that will work. Too big. I think that's a little little too loose. Perfect. And the size of that is 15. We're going to use the, I think, 3 eighths. Yep, the 3 eighths inch socket bit. And this is going to come right off. Just like that. Alrighty, so, you gotta remember that. That's one piece. I remember that goes on. It's just what dirty water. Keep that there. So, those two together, then this one. Alrighty. And here we go. And remember, safety glasses and gloves are required. So what I got to do is on this side, I got to sharpen this one, and then I got to flip it around and sh sharpen the other side. A little too much bouncing around, so bring that closer. Let's see what that does. shield a little bit more. It should be good. Oh yeah, that's a lot sharper. That's a lot sharper by a long shot. All right, then move it again. You gotta cut the curve a little bit, not cut, grind. We can do it. Move it one more time. We have a half an inch to cut after the curve. And there we go. Let's see if I can focus in on that. Much sharper blade. Much sharper blade. Compared to this side, to where it has dings in it and it's not nearly as sharp. So we are gonna cut that one as well. Oh yeah, I could feel that. I could feel the difference.
that a smidge. So much sharper. So much better. Right, let's put this back on. When you put this back on, the arrows face the ground. There are uh, engraved arrows right here. I'm not sure if you can see, but those face the ground. But this goes on. This goes on it like so. You, you'll see an, uh, a shape in the. Uh, in the dirt, and they are they are shaped, as you can see, circle, half circle, just like that, and that goes on, and this goes on, oh, no, yep, that goes on like that, and this goes on, and this goes on. Shit. And that should be good. Oh, six amp hour will do. So yeah, 
So, after using the sharpened blade for a while, I actually, I feel like I saved on battery power because it just sliced through, excuse me, because it just sliced through the grass faster and easier. So I feel, I feel like I got more out of the battery with a sharper blade. Uh, some of you are going to be like, duh, but if you have a, if you have a, a, a bench vise, a grinder, and a lawnmower of any brand, just sharpen your own blades. Like, there's no reason to go and buy another blade. It's, a, it's held on by one bolt, and it, it's easy to take off, and it's easy to put back on. So it only takes a few minutes to sharpen your own blade. By the time you go to the store, go buy the blade. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I swallowed a bug earlier. It flew into my mouth. Uh, and then by the time you get back and then you put the new blade on, you would already be mowing your grass. So uh, you can only sharpen your blade to a certain extent, but this blade is going to last me for many years to come because I'm just going to sharpen it every year or maybe even a couple times a year. And so, like, I, this, uh, the, that seriously did, uh, uh, cut through the uh, grass faster. Now, don't be, uh, uh, don't be fooled that I am, I am not picking my grass up. Uh, I'm just, uh, mulching it with, without a mulch attachment to where it blows the grass out. Which, I'm actually going to modify this, uh, lawnmower soon to uh, accept one of those attachments to where the grass gets blown out. But well, I, the modification that I have on there right now is this. So as you can see, the, the mulch, the stopper's in there. I, uh, I have it on with zip ties. Because honestly, that looks all right, but it doesn't look as nearly as beefy. Because I want, I want to use this without collecting grass. Because, there we go. Yeah, as you can see, that looks a lot beefier. That looks a lot beefier than without the bat. So, if you want to do that, uh, that modification to where you could have it uh, mulching and not picking up with the bag with keeping the bag on, because if you don't zip tie that to the body, uh, that st the that stopper is just going to be blown into the bag, and you're going to collect grass anyways. So do that if you want to have the bag on without collecting grass. And just to let you guys know, I am saving that entire, this entire area for, I'm, I'm letting it grow out. So I could do some battery stress, stress tests on the lawnmower to see which battery would actually perform better and be able to mow through most uh, taller, see who could mow through taller grass the, the best. So, but like I said, I will be modifying uh, the, the right side of it to where it, it'll be able to shoot grass out. Uh, right side if you're in the behind the lawnmower, the, the, the proper spot. So that's pretty much, that's pretty much it. Just uh, sharpen your, uh, your lawnmower blade once in a while. It's, it, it's very easy to do and it's fun. So that's... Uh, me cutting the grass again, so this is Dave Nicholas, thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.